Keep it up with you, Kuse. Okay. We've been jamming to it here. I can't wait for that. The Friday dance coming through to us. It's the Empty Space Dance Company for our Expresso Friday dance, which everybody is waiting in anticipation for. Right now, we're bringing it to the kitchen. We're about to take it to the weekend. It's all about salads and a variety of them. It's time for the culinary hotline, Bling. Sing, sing, sing. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline, Bling. That can only mean one thing. Oh yes, welcome to it. It is your feel good breakfast show express. The time for the culinary hotline. Bling, ting, ting, ting. Which uh, is all about inspiring you in terms of your culinary expressions. And nothing says summer like a fresh salad bursting with seasonal ingredients. Whether you are planning a good old South African braai or a romantic picnic for two or just want a healthy meal for yourself, there is no shortage of summer salads to satisfy your cravings. And today we welcome back Ch uh, Chef Chat Wal Raven, author of the cookbook Summer Food which is packed with all sorts of inspira uh, inspiration for anyone that wants to spend a good amount of time in the kitchen chart. It's good to see you. Likewise, well, great to be, great to be back and, you know, at it and, you know, celebrating <sighs> summer. I mean, we're only just getting really summer weather now, aren't oh, we? Oh, yeah, we're I really... Mean, how was that wind last week? That wind wasn't oh. pleasant, but it still hasn't taken away from the fact that it is summertime and we really just want to indulge in as much of the culinary delights as we can. Your Absolutely. book over here is packed with all sorts of them, right? Absolutely. Well, yeah, it is, it is all about summer. It's yeah. celebrating our fantastic lifestyle that we have. Yeah. And yeah, it's those little nuances that we, you know, I want to sort of create and share with everybody. And that's yeah. what the book was really about, is just taking those ideas and saying, right, this is what you do for summer. Yeah. Have fun, get people around and yeah. enjoy the time. Well, if you look at this bad boy over here, one of my favorite, favorite mm. vegetables, the aubergine yeah. or the eggplant or mm. the brinjal or yeah. my favorite emoji as well. They're in season mm. right now. So you're going to yeah. be seeing them just about everywhere. Mm. Now, what dishes do you like to cook with an aubergine? Well, I mean, aubergine is this one thing I just remind people aubergine is like a sponge. Yeah. yeah? It's, so it absorbs it. You should be very careful. Yeah. You don't want to cook it very quickly okay. or you want to cook it for a much you know, longer period of time. Yeah. So it's great for, for salads, it's great for, for dishes, even like a stew or casserole. So then a little bit more sort of hearty. Yeah. You can really add it into there. It's a great comfort because, as I said, it, you know, it's like a sponge, it absorbs lots of um, flavor. Yeah. So think of adding spices to it. Oh, yeah. You know, so you start thinking of the cumin in. and coriander. Yeah. It starts to, to soak in. I mean, that's what it's like. It I just love absorbs things. I love so it's a that. great base to do that. And then obviously you can make it into purees and things as yeah. well. So there's lots of different things you can do with aubergine. Well, we know that you can make a salad with uh, with an aubergine as well. What salad are you going to be making with it this morning? So mine is a, a grilled aubergine salad with goat's cheese, walnuts, and a capsicum dressing. Oh, and yes. it's just some really yes, simple Charles. flavors just brought together. Yes, Charles. Um, but in terms of actually sort of starting it, Aubergines, we slice them nice and, and, and thinly. And you can do them on the on the length. You okay. can do them on the on the on the rounds to get mm. a little rondelles. Yeah. Gone are the days, everybody. Let me tell you out there. Gone are the days to salt it and draw this water out. Nonsense. Okay. Well, well, why actually, were people that, trying to do that? So actually, the, the varietal, many, many years ago, you actually had to because it just became all very limp and very sort of, uh, you know, soft and just sort of spongy and, and mm. soggy at the end of the day. Yeah. But that we've actually, the varietals now that we get, uh, that's been bred out, so okay. we don't have to worry about that sort of genetic that's 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 in there. Okay. So it's been slightly modified. All right. So again, a hot uh, griddle pan, a mm. little bit of oil. Again, oh. remember, sponge. You don't want it to sort mm. of be like you know sort of too absorb much. too much there. Yeah. And literally pop that on there, mm -hmm. nice hot griddle pan, and then leave it alone. Okay. But don't you have touch. to be paying attention because you did say that it cooks very quickly. It, it well, oh, depending oh, on your slicer. So if it was paper paper thin, yes, it's going to cook very quickly. Okay. It's going to take a little bit longer to cook. Oh, okay. And you want to make sure you cook it through because you don't cook oh, aubergine sufficiently. It can be actually bad. quite uh, tough and chewy. Okay. Well. So, just pop that on and then leave it. Don't be tempted to move it because you actually really want to see the, the beautiful lines, lines on, on that there. there. So if you have a look they at are that. pleasing to that look at there. as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, SMS salad to 33728, we will gladly send you an SMS with a link to the recipe, of course, with all the ingredients that you are going to need to bring that to life. So what's our next yeah. step? What right. are we doing? So there? next thing, what I want you to do here um, is, you know, we'll whiz this up together here. Okay. And is making the capsicum dressing. Yes. Now, if you can't get yellow peppers, use red peppers. You can use Use orange pepper, so you can okay. really ch you know, ch charge it up. You know, I know Christmas has been, but Christmas time I do a red pe uh, pepper uh, puree. Okay. So what we do is you take your peppers, you blister them, okay. so put them onto a gas heat or in the oven, and make them go black. Okay. They're really got to be charred. Then put them into a bowl, cover with a little bit of cling film so there's steams, and then you can actually peel oh, wow. the skin what off. A technique. I and then love you that. take out the inside, and then but please don't wash it. Very important, don't wash because it's. Why do you smell that? That's it's the roasty. Flavor, That's man. the flavor. It's Absolutely. Bursting with it. Why, so, why would anyone want to kill the flavor out of this and take the flavor out well, of again, it? Again, it's easy to cake the seeds off and you think you yeah. want all the black bits. So leave those little bits in there. Yeah. So you've got that. A little bit of garlic mm. in there as well. Yeah. And a little dash of 
olive oil. Some olive oil in there. Not too much there because you don't want to make it loose. Remember, it's quite liquidy already, already with, the, with this, the, that. Yeah. And then a dash of balsamic vinegar. Mm. And that's all that you need to do. And then get that in there. Get that in. Can you give it a bit of a oh, yeah. zip, zip, oh, zip, yeah. push oh, down, yeah. and off we go. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Doesn't take much time, right? Because we're no. not looking to do. And again, get your quantity. You're not you know, if you put a little bit more in here, um, you know, you, your quantities, you need a little bit more on that. But if not, just a little bit more oil, oil in there, and then give it a quick blitz again. Another one. And then another one. We're done. Okay. Well, if you want the recipe, SMS eat to double three seven two eight. We'll send it to you. Okay. Done. I mean, that's your your dressing. Very simple. Very quick. Very easy. And, I mean, look at that. Oh, that colour yeah, is so done. important. Yep. And then what does it look like once it's done off your... your so, your, your from there, there, you're going to take your lovely little slices. Mm -hmm. And again, you can do this as an individual plate. Mm -hmm. Or you could do this for a whole big platter like we've got over there. So let's just do that. I mean, like, we do this like a little starter. Mm. So just take that. Take in your pepper. Yeah. I'm just... so excited to eat. I'm already telling everyone at home to SMS eat, which I'm going to definitely do. Absolutely. But the key word actually to this recipe is not eat, it's salad. Salad to double three seven two eight. Okay. Yes, I am going to eat this. Chart and I are going to eat this right, right after this. A couple yeah. of walnuts, texture. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't got, you know, we have, in the cupboard you always got those little bits of packets of leftover yeah. nuts or whatever. Use whatever nuts you got. Cashew Throw nuts, them pecan on nuts, there. whatever, onto there. Mm -hmm. And then raspberries. Again, oh, yes. if you haven't got raspberries, what else do you think you could use? Um... Any other berries. Absolutely. Strawberries, for example. Ab you can slice indeed. and cut those up and put them in here, right? Ab there we go. Done. Thought so. And then you've got a couple of mint leaves mm -hmm. that's going to go on top of there. All right, so we can just let them sort of fall wherever you want, just sort of pick them like that there. Oh, yeah. Um, and then ghost cheese. How do you know if it's ghost cheese? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Do you smell like, it? Smells like fur. Yep. Is that how, you, is like that how you check for that? It smells like fur. Or put it in your mouth really? and you sort of, you know, oh, then, then you will know. And then you know, and you know, so cheese. that claw. Oh, I love yeah. that clawiness there. But oh, I mean, man, Charts. Then you that? are done. Oh. Look at this. Mm. Looks beautiful. Looks amazing to take a photo of, but absolutely looks like it's tasty as well. That keyword, once again, is salad to double three seven two eight. Chat, you are not just a pretty face and not just a <laughs> cover boy. You are absolutely uh, a magician in the kitchen. And look at how quickly oh, this has taken us to, to, to make as well. There, Guys, please simple. come in. Belissa and Jamie Lee, come taste. We want you guys to... I was about to say that, you know, look. my kind sir, it looks like you definitely did your thing here in oh, the yeah. kitchen. Oh, yeah, you did. But I'm going to ask that we do the judging oh, here. Yeah, as you I'm should. I'm going to ask oh. that you kind of trust us with a little... Please, may you pass I'm going to give you a fork oh, and a knife. Yeah. There, there you go. Girl, are you ready? Are your taste buds ready? I think ready? that you should taste. Okay. You should taste. You can can a bit of everything. Both yeah. A bit of everything. You want a bit of the puree, a bit of the nuts, a bit of the goat's cheese. Okay, you can't miss anything. Not referee, not referee. Anything. sorry, excuse me. Uh, okay, okay, the judge today. The judge. Yeah. I take my job here. very seriously, very okay? Here. I did not come to play when it comes to my taste buds. Judge it. Ooh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Take us through it, take us through Let me moment. tell you a little some about this meal. Okay. <laughs> it, the flavors. Yeah. I'm yeah. not a fan of aubergine, never have been. Yeah. I hear what you're talking about about the emoji, but let me tell you something. <laughs> this is ten times better. Oh, this is man. delicious, this is juicy, yeah. this is flavorful, and the creaminess that's coming mm. through yeah. with that ghost cheese. We love it, we love it. Everyone. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. Burn, you see. If you would love to try this at home, I definitely urge you to SMS that keyword because you are definitely going to want to try this this yeah. weekend. And coming up with a lot more fun on the other end of yeah. this ad break. Do not move a muscle because we've got so much more up our sleeves. Listen, mm. the show is just getting started. Oh, hey. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it's, it's my feel-good Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only Welcome mean back to the Culinary Hotline Bling. Sing, sing, sing. It's here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express or live on SABC3. Now, we've just made the most enticingly delicious grilled aubergine salad with a yellow capsicum dressing, and it was a hit, even though I only got to taste a little bit of it because <laughs> Balesa just had it all to herself. But Chef Chart uh, will now reveal to us how to make his ultimate favorite summer salad. This one is your own personal favorite. But before we get into that, we did ask people to send us any comments and questions on social media. They've sent in uh, some of those on Facebook. Let's take a look at them. Here's Balesa Silani saying, not an aubergine fan, but can you use sweet potatoes instead? Question mark. Could she do that? Absolutely. 
You definitely can. But remember when you start, you know, adding different things, this, your flavor profile. So sweet potatoes is quite different. You know, aubergine's got a lovely bitterness to yes, it. Yes, yes. So you want to sort of counterbalance that there. So maybe it's like a little bit of lemon juice there just to bring the acidity through mm. to then balance the whole dish overall. But absolutely, you so know, there are we, ways. There are ways. And you know, the, the orange, orange sweet potatoes are great because yeah. those you can actually also slice and then grill. Mm. Where we've got the the yellow sweet potato that you can't. That's more sort of for a for a bit of a puree or something like uh, that. Ah, because it goes that, very, 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 very wet and soft. soggy exactly. and soft. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we've got another comment here on uh, Facebook, this one, uh, uh, which we'll take a look at a little bit later <laughs> on, okay? Um, because we want to get into this. Cool. All right, so this is your favorite. Why is this oh. your ultimate favorite salad, uh, well, summer salad? It's, it's just something so simple, so beautiful, so easy, but again, it's plain on seasonal produce. So yeah. we've got nectarines, plums, apricots. Again, change it up, mm -hmm. you know, do All as much as little, absolutely. Um, and you can really just, you know, if you've only got nectarines, do nectarines. If you've got peaches, just do peaches. You mm. can really play around with it. Um, a lot of people hear the words summer salad thrown around a lot of times. Yeah. So what, what would you say makes a salad, salad, a summer salad? Well, I think, you know, a combination of things. It's got to be bright, it's vibrant. We eat with okay. our eyes. 80% so of our mind is made up okay. is of your colour. So there's, mm. there's, there's that, that appearance is so, so important. It's got to have that wonderful fresh note mm. as well. So it's got to be sort of light. It's got to, you know, work with some. I mean, don't yeah, want to say it's sort of heavy. Not too heavy. You know, almost wants to sort of take that sort of the heat factor away yeah. from you. So something almost quite chilled and refreshing, you yeah. know, as, we, as we said on Well, on you've day. come out confidently saying that this one is your ultimate favorite. For it to be your ultimate favorite, it must be quite extraordinary. So, or why? So this was actually one of the first. When I first came to Cape Town, probably about 18 years ago or so, yeah. um, it was the first that I actually ever, ha ever had with this. Mm. So, yeah, the wonderful bits of... Um, Fruit, and then you know, with that, actually adding biltong to it, or bits of salami, yes. and that really sort of takes it onto a completely Great different, different level. So what it. I've done is I've just literally brushed it with a little bit of um, olive oil. Yeah, um, is all you need to do. And again, yep. back on the grill, face down. Uh -huh. Now, if your fruit is very ripe. Be very careful with here. You actually want a high heat. Okay. Quickly do it, otherwise it becomes mush. If it's ripe, high heat. High heat. Okay. If it's underripe, okay. then go for a slightly lower heat because you want that heat to soften the fruit all the way through okay. to make it lovely and tender. So Easy enough. Just take those, pop them on like that. And mm -hmm. again, the good old trick, just leave it alone. Again, you want those lovely bar marks. Yeah. Happy pan. Snap, yeah. crackle and pop going on there. Yeah. Use your sense of smell. It's not burning anything like that at mm. all. It's just working in that sense there. Is this like a South African uh, thing to do? Is this a typically South African type of salad to make? I wouldn't say it's, no, not, not at all. And, and as you say, you know, what is, what, how describe a summer salad. Yeah. A summer salad here is gonna be completely different to a interpretation salad of a salad elsewhere. elsewhere. And it depends on what you enjoy. So this is just my, my sort of story and, and what the book's really about is my story and my journey. And this yeah. is just one of those you know, journeys that we that I had, you know, coming to South Africa. That yeah. experience that I've, I've, I've enjoyed ever ever since with that yeah. there. I'm seeing some salt and peppers here. So, you... so a little dressing, mm. you know, what we're going to do with that there. So take it a little, make it a, a quick dressing. Uh -huh. um, so think again, you know, talking about the, the flavors early on when we got the, the comment on the, on the sweet potato, which is great. Yeah. Start looking at your other combinations. So here, what have I got here? So it's going to be sweet, yeah. caramelized, yeah. slightly smoky. Yes. What else are we going to go, we're putting with it there? Nuts, again, we've got a wonderful sort of voluptuousness to it. You know, it's yeah. got a lovely creaminess to it. Yeah. And then you've got the, the pepper, pepper sort of note from the watercress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're using a rocket entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. So now you need something to cut through all that richness. That's yeah. quite sickly sweet. Yes. You've got something quite creamy. Again, taste profile, sweet. Mm. A little bit of pepper. What do we need now? Something sharp to cut. To just cut it, yeah. Through it. So into there with a little bit of olive oil. And what is that? A little bit of lemon juice. Oh, yeah. As okay, well cool. into, into, into there. And What's that? Vinegar? Vinegar. I can smell Absolutely. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then seasoning that ever so gently uh, there. Just have a clock combination by you there, just over there, yeah. Well, the, 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 the key word to this one is eat, OK? Yes, we are going to eat it, but of course, if you also want to get this sent through to your phone, SMS EAT to 33728 will send you an SMS with a link to the recipe, and in there you also get all the different ingredients that you're going to need, and it's not a lot of ingredients, which is fantastic. No. When you make a salad, you want to make sure the easier, the better. Absolutely. So take in your lovely watercress, mm. and then dress your watercress in the with bowl. The dressing we've just made with now. The little dressing that you just made, made now. Mm. And again, keeping it, just dress the leaves. We don't want them to swim in, but yeah. just to nicely coat them in. Look at that beautiful yeah. sheen that that takes oh, on. Yeah, it looks yeah. beautiful. The last thing you want is when it is actually drowning and crying oh. for help no, you know, you, in a dressing. Do you know what I mean? Right, the best tools in the business, business I find are your hands, I'm afraid. So mm -hmm. let's just take that. Yeah. And then just pop those leaves okay. in any sort of fashion as you like. Mm. How gorgeous is this going That's to look? Beautiful. 
all right? And then from there, taking your lovely bits of fruit there. Okay, so, so this is now once they're done and you've gotten them off. Yeah, there, I mean, you okay? can have a look. We're not quite there yet, but let's have a... Yeah. It's starting to get... I mean, look at that from a presentation perspective. It looks... That looks beautiful. So let's already. just put a pop yeah. up there. Another one in there. You know, if you really wanted to, you can always, you know, cut it. You mm. could tear it up if you really wanted to. Mm. Odd numbers, again, remember always. So, you know, fives, sevens, always this is visually. For presentation. Looks, from presentation okay. perspective there. Um, a little bit of seasoning, again, just very briefly over there. Okay. And then just to finish that off, some cashew nuts. Yeah. So if you can take some cashew nuts. What do I do of, with them? Just, just throw them over. You can throw them on if you want, or just sort of break them up very slightly. Just crumble them in your hands and just pringle those at the top. And again, bring in that texture. Uh, so remember it. that whole profile, the sweet. You got a slight smokiness coming through from the, the fruit. Yeah. You got the beautiful pepperiness from the, the mm. leaves, sharpness. So the flavors the actually just marry together nicely because they're all so different, but when they do come together, oh. it's an explosive flavor in one Absolutely. dish. And that Very keyword so. is eat. SMS eat to double three seven two eight and get this sent directly to your mobile phone. I'm not about to invite these girls over here uh, to taste. No. We're <laughs> going to enjoy there. this by <laughs> ourselves because you can't invite people who are going to come and take over here. We'll enjoy this and you get SMSing. Um, no salad, of course. Repertoire is complete without a pasta salad. That's true for so many oh, people. Absolutely. So next, we're going to be crossing over live to the beach where Kutle is standing by to make something Ooh. really, really interesting and fresh, fresh twist.